Hey, what's up guys? AJ Ramos of Air Coffee in Tea Philippines delivering fresh coffee beans to your household. Now, you're welcome to cup number four. Today, we're going to talk about the roasting process. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Cup number four, the roasting process. And I'm in a different room right now. I'm in my room, different setting. The lights have been brighter. I removed the cover of the windows. That would be good, right? We're here to talk about the roasting process. So, bakit nga ba tayo mag-roast? Why roast ito? So, ang roasting, ang roasting is ginagawa to unlock the flavor and the aroma of a coffee bean. So, kapag fruit pa siya, it's a lighter green color or reddish bean. So yun, kapag niroast mo siya, the beans will turn into a brownish color. And the longer, the, the longer it is being roasted, the browner it becomes hanggang sa maging dark brown siya. So let's consider the roasting process as a key that will unlock the full potential of a coffee bean. So there are many kinds of roasts, so types of roasts out there. Meron kayong nakikita ng American roast, espresso roast, Viennese roast, Italian roast, French roast, uh, medium roast, uh, city roast, full city roasting. A lot, pero today we're just gonna focus on the four major types of roasts. So those are the light roast, medium roast, medium dark roast, and the dark roasts. Yeah. So. The key point here is the, the, the darker the roast, the more bitter the coffee becomes, the stronger the flavor. And the lighter the roast, the more acidic it becomes and the milder its flavor is. So under the four major categories of the roasts, we have subcategories like uh, the light roast, the cinnamon roast, uh, medium roast, high roast, city, full city, French and Italian roast. So the darkest one is the Italian roast and the lightest one is the light roast. Going back to the four major categories of roasts, let's start with the light roast. The light roast is majorly light brown in color. Yeah, Under the light roast there is the light roast and the cinnamon roast. Uh, they distinguish it by the itchura ng beans. Yung itchura ng beans distinct yung origin niya, kung anong klase, yung, ano yung raw form ng beans eh. And there is totally no oil in the surface. Moving on to the medium roast, the medium roast is brown in color. Kung yung light roast ay light brown, itong medium roast ay medium brown or browner. So the difference ng light roast and medium roast, ang medium roast is slightly sweeter in taste para sa light roast. Uh, it has more balanced flavor and aroma, acidity as well. Under the medium roast, we, we will categorize the medium and the high roast. Moving on to the third category, the third category natin ng medium dark roast. Under the medium dark roast, we have the city and the full city roast. Uh, yung city, uh, it's more bitterness than acidity. So ito na yung cross from the line of balance roasting balanced flavor and acidity uh, some city roast more bitterness than acidity but they distinguish your medium dark roast by a rich darker color with some oil on the surface uh, hindi marami hindi siya masyadong oily but there are some oil existence the surface siguro mga spot spots ng oils pagka binuksan yung uh, package it has a bitter sweet aftertaste. Kung yung medium roast ay merong sweeter aftertaste, ito merong bitter sweet aftertaste. Uh, flavor and aroma emerge and acidity disappears completely. So yung acidity niya almost non-existent na pagdating ng medium dark roast. The last category is the dark roast. Ang dark roast is madidistinguish nyo by its oily surface. So makikita nyo pag bukas nyo ng package, yung, yung package niya is oily, oilier than most kind of roast. At yung mga almost black, yung mga parang turning into black na, kung yung light roast is light brown, tapos may konting greenish, ito talagang almost black na. It has a very significant amount of bitterness and pinaprefer ang dark roast for espresso, espresso mixes, mixes, espresso mixes. 
So yung origin ng coffee bean is gone. Hindi mo naman distinguish. And ang mga ibabaw is yung flavor ng roasting process. So moving on with the common misconception about roasting. Uh, many coffee drinkers assume na yung stronger flavor and richer flavor ng coffee is nag indicate na mataas yung caffeine level niya. Which is completely false. So uh, the darker the roast, mas nababuwasan yung caffeine level dahil nga sa heating process. So nawawalan ng liquid, nawawalan ng, ng uh, moisture yung beans. And at the same time, nawawalan din yung, nawawala din yung chemical uh, factor ng caffeine. So same as any other skill na kailangan nyo perfect. It takes lots of practice, 100 times to do hanggang sa makuha nyo talaga kung paano yung timing nitong light roast, yung timing ng medium roast, timing ng full city or French or dark, darker roast. And you'll have to pra practice talaga. When it comes to our coffee beans, on coffee beans namin, we have Akasha, Nara, and uh, Kawayan. Our Kawayan, our Baraco beans, have a medium roast. Our acacia has a French roast, darker on the darker side. So the origin uh, flavor niya is gone, acidity niya is non-existent. Na. Pero nang ibabaw yung flavor ng roasting process. Perfect yung acacia for cold brews. Perfect yung acacia for uh, uh, espresso mixes na may milk. And for the nara naman, for our robusta coffee, it. It's roasted in an Italian fashion. So, Italian roast, darkest of them all. It's the most bitter roast, strongest flavor, and wala nang acidity if you are worried about being hyperacidic. Hyperacidic kapag uh, may mga kape. You don't have to worry at all pagdating sa Robusta and sa Akasha. So, I guess that's it for this episode. If you like it, share, subscribe. Mm, share nyo sa mga interested sa topic na to. And as always, follow us on our social media platform right here. Okay. And a quick update lang. We are now catering uh, coffee shop owners. We are offering wholesale prices for our beans. Asha, uh, Nara, Kawayan, that's Arabica, Robusta, and Barako. If you are willing or if you're interested, just shoot us a message on any of our social media platforms and we'll gladly respond to your inquiries. We landed our first client, Kof Uh They are a maker of cold brew mixes in Makati. So we are now the sole supplier of their Arabica beans for their Arabica brews. So just visit them in Salcedo Street, Makati. I guess that's it. So that's it for cup number four. Out.